burnt up sitting around during uh, the pandemic with not a whole lot to do I started researching uh, started with researching the piccolo bass and uh, I believe I invented a new bass in so much as if restringing a standard bass with thinner gauge strings and tuning it up an octave makes it a piccolo bass if you know that's inventing a new bass then uh, I've invented a new bass I call it the alto bass I uh, dug around online let me just give you a little background uh, first off uh, it's a long story so sit down and relax um, first off I was looking up piccolo bass and the highest string is plain. It's 20 gauge and it's a plain wound string. And I'm like, you know, that's going to sound a lot like a guitar. I don't know if I want the, the, the plain string. So I could not find a wound 20 gauge string. And I started sort of looking into it. And to get individual strings, I could get like a 22 wound and I was like well I could do that I guess uh, for full length bass a guitar string wouldn't work so I'd have to get a bass string and I start looking into individual strings and to get four individual strings it ends up being like 15 or 20 or something but like I forget it was a, a couple weeks ago and I'm like that's way too much so then I thought, you know what, I could get a base 6. So I looked into that, and it's not really a base. It's kind of a, more like a baritone, guitar-ish kind of a thing, with the strings really close, and you kind of have to play with a pick. So I was like, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Uh, I really wanted to do like the piccolo bass type thing like uh, Les Claypool does. So I'm watching some videos and it looks like he has a, obviously has a custom built um, bass, uh, a couple of them. And it looks like it's a little bit longer scale, which I think then allows him to use thicker strings to still tune it an octave up. So it sounds really clear and really punchy, and let's face it, the plain string is just not going to have enough mass to really sound bass-ish. So, um, again, back to looking around, the bass 6, nah, that's not really the option. Uh, I look into, okay, well, I can go with the short scale bass, which is this. Um, it's already an existing bass, so this tuning, this thing I'm... I'm trying to do uh, this is really like a prototype like a kind of proof of concept and so I look into it and it looks like okay you know I could maybe tune it like B E A D so it's like a fifth up from a standard bass so I look into that and um, I decide, okay, so I'm going to do. So, what am I going to call it? Of course, got to have a name. So, piccolo is Italian for small. So, piccolo bass, a piccolo little flute family is a little tiny flute. So, that's piccolo bass. Okay. So, I Google, well, what's Italian for medium? Because small, medium, large. And it's uh, A L T I, Alti, Alti. And I'm like, alti bass, alti bass, alti bass. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, kind of. So then I start looking into vocal ranges, and it's like bass, baritone, tenor, alto. And I'm like, alto? Well, alti is Italian for medium, so alto. Uh, there's already a bass guitar, obviously. There's a baritone guitar, there's a tenor guitar. Is there an alto guitar? I think we have a winner. 
So I start Googling alto bass guitar. Can't find anything. Then something pops up. An alto guitar. It's a classical guitar. Slightly smaller body. Slightly just... I don't, I don't know about the scale length, but it's just kind of a little bit smaller. And you put on thinner strings and tune it a fifth up. B-E-A-D. And I'm like... Uh, okay, so I tried putting some guitar strings on the short scale bass, and eh, it just sounds like a terrible guitar. It just doesn't have, um, I don't think the strings have the mass, it just doesn't work. So uh, then I commit with the, the alto bass kind of idea. Because I still sort of tried the piccolo, didn't work with the guitar strings. So I'm going to go with the alto bass idea. And um, so I string it up. And the strings I was using, the gauges were still pretty thin. And it just didn't really have like a bass sound to it still. So I went up to a couple of thicker... Um, scale strings and by the way I know I a few minutes ago I complained about the price of all the strings uh, these are just strings that I have laying around uh, if I like say buy a used bass I take the strings off of it uh, to put the set on that I like and I just kind of keep the strings laying around because if I'm playing a show and I pop a string string breaks I just grab I used one, pop it right back on, and finish the four songs in the set or whatever. Uh, kind of pointless to keep opening brand new packs, which I kind of used to do, and you end up with like all these packs all missing like one string. So then you sit down and assemble full sets again, and you always still have all the leftovers. So I'm like, eh. So anyway, these are strings that I just kind of had laying around. Um, and I ended up with tuning it to A, so uh, tune to A and in fourth just like usual, uh, so what is it, A, D, G, C. Okay, and as you can hear, Even the highest string still sounds bass-ish. So, what do you guys think? I think I invented an instrument. play chords. Slightly out of tune. Because again, they're like used strings and stuff. It was just a proof of concept. Bass guitar. <laughs> 